Hello, everyone. I hope you're okay. For collective worship today, because we've now started the season of Advent and we're waiting for Christmas, I thought I'd show you what's in church to show that we are marking this special time of the year. Now, the most obvious change will be if you come in through our front doors and walk down towards where the altar is, you'll see our lectern as normal with the angels on. And then down here on the floor in front of the lectern are two people and an empty basket. Now, these two people, it's Mary and Joseph. We are recreating the nativity scene, but obviously there is a very special person, a very significant person missing at the moment because Jesus isn't in the manger. Jesus is not in the center of our basket just now. And he won't be put in there until Christmas Eve, when he'll be carried in at the beginning of the Christmas Eve service at midnight, carried down the center aisle of the church and placed here in the manger to remind us all that Christmas has arrived and Jesus has been born. So this story that we are celebrating is a really important story. It's the second most important day in the church calendar, the second most important day for Christians. The first most important day, which you can probably well remember, is Easter, when Christ rose from the dead. But Christmas is the second most important because it's when Jesus was born. It's when God stepped down from heaven, walked upon earth amongst us, and was with us in the person of Jesus Christ. So as we celebrate Christmas, we remember that God is with us. And sometimes we call God Emmanuel, which means God is with us, God with us, Emmanuel. And there is a hymn that we sing called, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And really it's a prayer that says, God, come and be amongst us. Be God with us. Come and share our life with us. And it's a hymn that we use during this time of Advent, when we light our Advent wreath. Now, you might have an Advent wreath up in school somewhere. Normally there is, but I know things are a bit different this year. So we have our Advent wreath here in church as well. If I spin this around, and you can just about see it. Let's go and get a closer look. Over here. And the Advent wreath is lit every Sunday, one candle at a time, moving round until Christmas Day, when we light the centre candle. And each of the candles represents a different part of the story of Jesus. Not just of his birth, that's the last white candle, but the other parts of the Christian story. So we begin with the prophets and the patriarchs of the Old Testament, the people who tell the story of God's people and God himself. The patriarchs who wrote most of the books of the Old Testament and then the prophets who came and told us all about the coming of the Messiah. Then, on the third Sunday of Advent, we light the pink candle, the rose candle. And this is to remember John the Baptist, the last of the prophets, and Jesus' cousin. Then, one more purple candle, when we think about Mary, the mother of God, because we can't have a birth without a mother. And then finally, on Christmas Day, the centre candle, the centre of our faith, the centre of the celebration is for the birth of Jesus himself. So there are a few things that you can see when you come into church at the moment to remind us of this important season. And church is open every day from early in the morning until around six o'clock at night. So when you finish school, if you're passing by with your mum or your dad or whoever's picked you up, then do stop in. Come and visit the crib. See where Jesus will be laid on Christmas Day and come and see the candles and how far they've burnt down as we get closer and closer towards Christmas. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord God bless you, this day forth and forevermore, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a very blessed Advent, and I'll see you soon.